Hello everyone, I am Shadha Shorao and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn how to use export and import projects in Eclipse IDE. Now, I am going to discuss about exporting the project. You can export and import Eclipse projects. This allows you to share the projects with other people and to import existing projects. Now I can show you how to export our projects. Now I am going to the Eclipse project. Now I am ready to export my sample test. For that first go to the file menu, select export, here export option is there, select export, in this export there is a several options are available in Java, in export, in Java, there is a, if you want to export jar file, just click on jar file, if you want to export Java docs, Java docs means Java documentation, select the Java doc, if you want to create a runnable jar file, just click on the runnable jar file, now I am creating a jar file, I am exporting the jar file, click on the next, now here I need to select what are the files here class path and project dot class path file and project file if you need these two also just click on the checkboxes if you don't need just unclick the uncheck the checkboxes after that there is a several options are available export generated classes export generated class files and resources if you want to export all the class files and resources just click on this checkbox if you want to export all output folders for checked projects just click on this checkbox if you want to export java source source files and resources just click on this checkbox if you want to refactoring to checked projects just click on this here now this option is to indicate where you want to save your jar file just click on browse now i want to save my jar file into the desktop that's why i'm putting in the desktop giving the jar file name here i am giving the simple dot jar sample dot jar just click on save button after that there is a several options three options are available the first one is compress the content of the jar file if you want to compress the content of the jar file select the check select this checkbox and next one is add the directory entries if you want this one just click on the checkbox and if you want to override existing files without warnings just click on this checkbox next after completion of this all the options click on the next this is options regarding the warnings and uh, handling the problems if you want you can select it otherwise no need to select the checkboxes if you want to manifest file just select the checkbox and give where if you where you want to save the manifest file if you don't want the manifest file no need to select this checkbox and if you in your project if you if there is multiple my main methods are available in the different classes for we, we need to select first main class which main class you want to run for that, I'm, if you want to select the main class, just browse on browse button. In my project, there is a only one main class available. That's why it's displaying one main class. If there is any multiple main class available, just uh, it, it can be display the multiple main classes. In here, only one main class. That's why I'm clicking on the test class. After that, finish. It shows nothing is there already file is available i am overriding that one now ex exporting is completed if you see here desktop see here sample.jar this is the exported jar file next i am going to discuss about how to import the project into your eclipse ide for that i am going to the file menu i am going to the file menu here one option is there that is the import option just click on the import options now 
which project you want to import if you want to select that one just click on the general there is a existing projects into workspace just click on the existing project into workspace now we need to select which project you want to import that is click on browse it's possible to import only eclipse projects into in our eclipse workspace it's not possible to import general projects now i am going to select my project eclipse project see this is my eclipse project just click on okay if you the eclipse project is properly now it can be show here if it is not proper eclipse project it cannot it's not it's not enable the finish button it's disabled now my sample project it is a proper project just click on the finish if you see here my project is imported into a my workspace this is my project it is imported into the my workspace in this project i have a one class two packages are available sada learning hub and sada learning hub one in this test one and test two this is importing the eclipse project thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye